What's up everybody, I'm Gushi, and in this video we're going to be going over the story mode in Legends. We're going to be talking about how to complete all the objectives, but more importantly all the bonus objectives, including how to survive Gyojin's Curse. I feel like a lot of people don't know about this, so I want to emphasize this in this video, because it's easily missable, but pretty easy to complete. As a side note, bonus objectives are only available in silver and gold difficulty, and remains the same in gold. Because the bonus objectives are pretty easy to complete, I highly recommend going after these. One, because it gives you more XP to rank up. And two, by completing bonus objectives, you get more gear and rare resources that are used for crafting. So to start it off, just by completing chapter 1, 2, and 3, you complete those three objectives. In the silver difficulty, if both teammates die, you lose one try. You have three tries in total. And once those run out, you'll be kicked out to the end screen. The next objective is quick play. To get this, before even starting the story mission, in the main menu, instead of selecting story, you want to go into the quick play playlist and then select story quick play. This will put you in any story, prioritizing matchmaking time. Then after you complete that story, you should get that objective. But I personally don't use this. I've been going straight to the story playlist and selecting that first mission called Severed Hearts. Mostly because I find it the easiest and as you play the same mission, you'll get used to the spawns and enemy routes to be more efficient and complete the story faster. Alright, on to the bonus objectives. So to collect the Oni treasure, you'll have to find the Oni treasure box, which shows up in different parts of the map. As you enter an area, just check that top left of the screen to see if that bonus objective is in that area. If it does, you'll have to look around until you find a chest that looks something like this. This requires both players to open, and once you do, a bunch of enemies will spawn, including a couple of Oni, that you have to defeat. If you're grinding out severed hearts, here are the locations for the Oni treasures. In the first area, you could find it close to the drum at the end of the level right over here. In the second area, you could find it in the middle of the map right over here. And in the third area, there's two different spawns. It can either show up close to the entrance right over here, or at a tent at the opposite side of where you spawn, right over here. The next bonus objective we'll go over is finding Gyozin's Lost Scroll. They look exactly like the records in the single player mode, but glow this blue emissive color which is pretty hard to miss. Again, if you're grinding severed hearts, in the first area there are two locations it could spawn. One is the first tent on the left, right by the entrance, or towards the end under this tent. In the second area, I found one location it could spawn, and it's in the middle of the map, resting on this log. Finally, at the third area, I also found one spawn location, which is at the very top in the largest tent, resting on the chair right over here. Alright, so finally, on to how to complete Gyozin's Curse. Similar to the Oni Treasure, this is something both players have to activate. So after completing the second area and going through the Toady Gate, you'll see Gyozin sitting next to these two pillars. Once you walk up to this, it'll give you the prompt to activate the curse. Again, this is super missable, and if your teammate runs into the portal before you, you can't get to the objective because it needs two players to activate the curse. If you're not in voice chat, so I'd recommend is getting into the portal first, run straight to Gyozin, and use the ping system to let your teammate know. After activation, there'll be a tether between you and your teammate. And what the curse does is that if you get too far from each other, you'll start taking damage. So throughout this whole third part, You'll want to stick with your teammate and fight together. Again, use that pinging system to let your teammate know where you're going to go or what enemies to attack. With that, that's everything you need to know about how to complete all the bonus objectives in story mode. If you guys found any other spawn locations for the Oni treasure or Gyozin scrolls, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys learned something new, please drop a like. And if you want more Ghost of Tsushima content, subscribe so that you're up to date with all the videos that I post. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one and GG.